Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Alright, we made it past volume 1 and I have been inundated, not even just after I finished volume 1, but way beforehand to do a video of me reacting to the OSTs. If you don't know what an OST is, it's the original soundtrack. At least I believe that's what it stands for, otherwise I've just made myself look like a giant idiot. Which, you know, is nothing new, but it's, it's besides the point. So, my main dude, The Fine, who comments on all the Ruby, this, they, they give the most detailed background descriptions in the comments, it's actually insane. And they completely outdone themselves uh, in the last video that I did, the, the volume 1 finale, with a damn near essay level <laughs> description on all of the stuff I might have missed or confirming stuff that I said in the video. And of course, being the absolute legends that they are, they give a big list of the OSTs in like, the order I could I can do them. And even give me a, a YouTube channel to look at that has all of them on, that has the correct uh, lyrics and everything for them. So dude, or dudette, I, I don't know if you're a dude or a dudette, thank you so much for, you know, giving me all this information. It, uh, it helps a lot and it makes me feel, you know, good about myself when I get stuff right. <laughs> But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to get into it because apparently the um, the videos, the, the music is incredibly helpful to the future of the story, the stuff that's coming up, the stuff that might have happened in the episode when the when the music was on or whatever. So apparently they're really, they're really interesting to go and have a look at. So we're just going to get into it because like I said, there's like eight of them. <laughs> so I don't want to, I don't want to ramble on for too long. But yeah, let's go. All right, so we got uh, this will be the day. Now I've heard this one loads of times because you know I'm pretty sure it's, is it? I think it's the opening. So okay, this might be a bit loud. Hopefully that's not too loud or too quiet. Yep, this is a lot about Ruby. Like I said, I think this is just the opening, so uh, I can't imagine this <laughs> setting up much of the story. Good song, though. I will say that. I mean, I do that. <laughs> just setting my headphones flying. Interesting, hell yeah. I'm sure if I miss anything, which I will, um, there'll be plenty of <laughs> comments telling me uh, the true meaning behind the words. Oh. This isn't foreshadowing like a death or something, or deaths. I hope not. Like I said, good song though. I will say that the soundtrack in Ruby, epic. Even though I can't really carry it all that much when I'm actually watching the show. I'm concentrating more on the, the stuff that's actually happening rather than, uh, rather than the music in the background. I don't want to miss anything. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Oh. I will end up singing along these, by the way, even though I don't know the words. And I'm a terrible singer, so you have all been warned. It's like hearing a cat being strangled. 
It's not nice. All right, is that the first one? Epic. Hell yeah. Like I said, obviously that's just that's the opening, so I can't imagine that having too much of an impact in telling the future of what's happening, other than the fact that you know there's light and dark in the world. Ruby and the gang are the light. I'm assuming all of the ones from I forget the name of that place. Like the Beowulfs and the Ursas and the Nevermores and stuff like that are the darkness. Slash, you know, like Roman and people like that, the, the bad guys. And you know, she's gonna kick ass and take names. But before she does that, they're gonna take over. Alright, next one. So we got Red Like Roses Part 2. Is that the correct one? I hope so. It's the only one I could find. Yeah, this is from the red trailer, so let's go. I couldn't take it, couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you in it. All of the joy that I had known for all my life was stripped away from me the minute that you died. Oh, who's died? Is this crow? Can't help but feel that I had taken you for granted. No way in hell that I could never come from that. I wasn't dreaming when they told me you were gone. I was wearing a feeling that they had to be wrong. How could you leave me when you thought that you would stay? Now I'm stuck inside of every single living day. It's like a movie, but I am loving these songs right now. Is that that one? No, <laughs> not even close. Sorry, I don't want to keep pausing and banging in the middle of the song. But I will say, uh, the picture on the right is a bit concerning. She's clearly crying over... So I can't tell what that is that she's, like, resting on. Is that a grave? I'm going to assume it's a grave. But yeah, so clearly somebody's died in Ruby's life. I don't know if it's Crow, uh, which was her uncle, I think she said. I don't know if it's... Maybe, I don't know. Could be someone else. Could be our grandma. Supposed to be Red Riding Hood. Oh, it's the person that's singing. I'm loving the song right now, by the way. Is this maybe Ruby's parent? Like, like a mom or dad or something? I've never seen a mom or dad. I mean, I've never seen any of the moms or dads, so. Roses. Perfect pitch, people. I'll do a cover of the song if I get enough likes. 10,000 likes and I'll do a cover of the song for you. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious in this song, like, what's happening. It hasn't made it very clear who she's crying over. I don't know if that's... If that's gonna, like, show... I'm assuming it'll show up in, like, a different volume. Stuff like that. It's foreshadowing something, I'm guessing. She's such a happy person, though. 
Ruby Far. Is that this one? Oh! <laughs> Second time I've done that. So that's how I'm done now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, just before we, this is going to be Mirror Mirror Part Two, apparently. So I'm assuming that I am watching the correct ones. I hope so. This is from the white trailer. But just before we get into that one, all right. So clearly, obviously, Red's. I say Red. Ruby's entire song is about someone that's died, and obviously they've left her, and she, no matter what she does, she can't replace them. But it hasn't given us any hints, I don't think, during the song, like, that who it was. I'm going to assume it's going to explain that in Volume 2, 3, 4, whatever. There's, there's got to be, like, it's got to mention it somewhere. Like I said, I thought it might have been Crow, because I know we heard about him in Episode 1, which he, I think it was her uncle that like, taught her to, to fight with the scythe, or give her the scythe, or both. But, obviously, I've, I've never heard anything from him since. Which I'm pretty sure when um, Ozpin was looking at the the thing, the weird electronic, I don't know what what do you call a hologram thing, but uh, I'm pretty sure it said Crow's team, I think. But uh, if it did, then that's very interesting. So uh, yeah, gonna be interesting. I, like I say, I, I've never seen Crow, so I don't know if he's alive. I don't know if he's dead. I don't know if this song was about a mom, a dad, grandma. I, I really couldn't tell you. But clearly, in that story, somebody has left her, died or otherwise, and she wasn't happy about it because they said she would always, they would, they would always be there for her. But moving on to Mirror Mirror, let's go. That song, by the way, was an absolute banger. I said it a few times during the song, but my god, if all songs are like to that high quality, I'm there for it. This is definitely a, a different tone to the other one. Gonna be assuming this is like due to her, like the way she was brought up. Yeah, I thought it would be that kind of song. So everyone thinks she's like this pretty princess who gets everything she wants. Yeah, I thought it was going to be something like this. I still like the song though. Okay, I like it. Years of scorn will leave you cold. All right, so what she tries to say, like, her family was tough on her. So well, our family's not very nice then, I'm guessing. I haven't seen them yet, so. <clears throat> I mean, this song does explain why she like likes to be alone. Like, why she likes to just do things by herself. So 
So her even being friends with Ruby now, that's a damn near miracle. Also, um, can someone tell me, like, are the actual voice actors like, doing these songs? Or do they get somebody else to sing them? Good singers, if they do. Awesome, right, well I'll set the next one up. So yeah, it definitely just seems it's like a whole family thing. Like that entire thing was just basically about how her family never really approved of her. I don't know whether that's because, you know, it's it's a kind of like, oh she's a girl thing and they never wanted a girl, they wanted a boy, or she's not as strong or whatever. Or her family's just in general dickish and just not very nice to her. And it explains so much like as to why like she likes being alone. She doesn't like, you know, when I first saw her and I was like, oh, I don't like her, she's a bit of a twat. It explains why, you know, why she's like that. Which, now I'm just kind of starting to feel bad for her. Oh, no. I mean, I started liking her anyways, don't get me wrong. I um, She grew on me, like, towards the end of Volume 1 anyways. I thought she was going to be one of those characters. And thank God she did turn out to be one of those characters. Or what, she wasn't just a, an arse throughout the entire thing. Yeah, uh, so from the from what I got, her family's not very nice. They've always basically just told her, do what you're told, and that's about it. Stand there, do what you're told. And everyone's like, oh, you know, you had this perfect upbringing because you, you know, you're born in this like successful family and you've had everything you've ever wanted. No, she hasn't. All right, so uh, anyways. <laughs> Moving on from that, so we've got uh, the black trailer. It's called From Shadows. Which, by the way, I uh, just want to let you know, like, I, I am being pretty quiet when I'm watching these just because I'm trying to absorb all the music and I don't want to keep interrupting the song. Just in case you sat there thinking, why is he even bothering? This isn't a reaction. He just sat there like this. I still don't know who that guy is, by the way. Is he the leader of, what was it, was it the White Fang? With the Faunus, is he the leader of them? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. He's got red hair, that's cool. <laughs> do do do. It's got a long intro, I'll, I'll give it that. Yeah, I, I like um, I like Blake as well. Blake's pretty fun. The fact that she was a faunus, like I, I did not get that at all. Until, of course, you know, I guessed it moments before it was shown. I do have a habit of doing that though, just guessing things just before they get revealed. Or I'll have an inkling of it and then Alright, so this must be when they get on the train, I think. And all those robots uh, start fighting them. Yeah, okay, because she, she said she was in the uh, the White Fang the entire time. Treat like worthless animal. Alright, so this is all about her being a Farnus then. Or them being a Farnus.
So yeah, this... Yeah, this definitely sounds like the fact that, obviously, humans ruled over Faunus, and then... Faunus basically had to get nasty to, to basically get equal foot to humans. So it's the White Fang's whole goal to just, like, try to be on top. Have the humans down at the bottom. So of course this would foreshadow her being a Faunus. <laughs> but you know, I didn't even know what a Faunus was at the time. Apart from the the news in on like what, what episode one. To which I, I took no notice, that went right over my head. I've been liking all of these songs so far. I don't know why this song is giving me like serious uh, Sonic Adventure 2 vibes. If anyone's ever played that game. It used to be my life when I was a kid. I still have it now, I've got, I've got it on Steam. Raising my chows the way uh, God intended. By cheating and boosting their stats because it takes ages to level them up. Is that, that one done? That was a quick five minutes. Okay. Alright, got the next one set up. So, yeah, that clearly was just about the Faunus and how the humans rule above them, and obviously about the White Fang. I'm assuming their goal is to you know, overrun the humans and become stronger than them and, and rule them rather than being ruled or have them being treated the way that they've been treated. Of course, it all foreshadows her being a Faunus <laughs> and that whole thing, but obviously that got revealed at the end of Season 1, or Volume 1, sorry. So I already knew that. But yeah, also this one. So in the comments, uh, when, you know, the... Um, all of the songs were put on. This one was called I Burn. Now it said, be careful for this one. You want to watch the full version, not the party version. Now, this one is featuring Casey Lee Williams and Lamar Hall. Which was the same as the one that was called I Burn. But, this one's called Ignite. Now, it's by the guy, the, the Flint, or Flint of Ruby. Is this the right one? I, I really hope it is. It had um, Bla uh, Yang on it and all that. So I'm hoping this is the right one. Alright, this just seems to be about her kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> oh god. I, I will say, she's a nutter. This just seems to be a song that's just warning not to fuck with her, because she'll kick you she'll kick your ass. Oh, I heard Ruby.
So Yang is Ruby's sister, right? I'm pretty sure that got like brought up in like the first episode. But I've never really heard anything about that. The dragon! Woohoo! The Uniform Army of Sam. So yeah, this just seems like it's a song that says don't mess with Yang, don't mess with her family because she'll find you and she'll give you the Liam Neeson treatment. I could go without, thank you very much. Dude, you're going too fast. Was this still about Blake? Uh, Yang? Oh, I keep saying Blake. Or was that somebody else singing about themselves? I didn't recognize the voice. Damn it. All right, epic. Uh, that mean I mean, like I said in the <laughs> throughout the song, it was literally just a song about you know you fuck with her and she'll beat your ass, and then that guy came out of nowhere with the freaking rap god. The dude was going way too quick. I was trying to read those lyrics because I could barely hear what he was saying. My God. It was good though. I like that song. All right, so we have gold. Let's check it out. Ruby episode three ending song. Oh god, I say Red Lake Roses too. I may have watched the wrong one at first. <laughs> Typical. Just Yang. This is supposed to be about Yang, this part. Ruby. Pira? She has a gold hand, quite literally. I mean, like, gold armor, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Not an actual gold hand. Although that would be cool. I know I'm just sat here dancing, or I'm supposed to be giving constructive reactionism. I 
Ugh, Winchester. Lord's Beetle, oh, I say Lord's Beetle. Apparently he's a fan favourite. He has not grown on me yet. He's still an ass. Yeah, I'm not sure what episode this- well, it says it's from episode 3 ending, but... Does it mean ending as in, like, the credits? Because I, I always skip the credits, so... Nailed it. Perfect pitch, baby. Hell yeah. Alright, so we have the uh, actual Red Lake Roses. <laughs> the one that I was supposed to listen to it first. Where clearly I failed miserably at it. Now, I can't find one that has the lyrics on them. But we'll just go. I just... Un okay. Actually, this is. I don't know if this has lyrics. I don't think it does. I'll just have to listen extra carefully. <laughs> Must say, I am really enjoying Ruby, though. Yellow Beauty. Yang, maybe? Yellow Beauty Burns, it's gotta be about Yang. And again, it was about the... Uh, like, the petals take me to where you rest. Also, if I constantly look like I'm like scowling, I'm not actually scowling. I just I have resting bitch face. It's so when I'm like <laughs> interested in something, I always I'm like like if I ever stream and you watch me on a game, I'm like this. It's hilarious. I never even noticed I did it until one of my friends pointed it out. I looked on the camera and was like, is this mostly just musical? Sorry, I don't want to skip it, but like... Alright, well, I mean, we can pretty much skip to this part. If I did just watch the right one... It was mostly just musical, rather than, uh, rather than, like, lyrics. But from what I did get, once again, it mentioned someone resting. Going to the place where you rest. Someone's got to have died. And then, the like, burning, uh, yellow burning has got to be about... Yang. I know people will let me know in the comments anyways, but that's what I'm taking from this. All right, and finally, we have Wings, which is apparently from the ending. Let's go. This is going to be one hella long video. I was not expecting it to be this long. <laughs> Do 
Jeff and Casey Lee Williams. Did they sing all of these songs? I'm pretty sure their names have been on every single one of them. Good singers, though, I will say that. It's hard to find. Shadows seem to fill your life. <laughs> Ironic. Volume one, you know. <laughs> Silhouettes in the background. Kicked it up to an 11, people. I don't like the fact that they're talking about wings constantly. It just sounds like someone's gonna die. I don't... I don't like it. Or means metaphorically lifted up, like you'll be more upbeat. <laughs> I'm hoping, because if people die in this show, I'll be pretty devastated. Like, I like all of the characters thus far. Apart from Winchester, he can die. I don't, I don't care about him. If he grows on me, he grows on me, but as of right now. Mm -mm. This is such a downbeat song for an ending. <laughs> it's damn near just a song about how you have no purpose in your life. And you just don't know what you want. Stray, stray cat. One more day. Dry your eyes now, baby. Broken wings won't hold you down. You'll take it's this part I don't like the sound of. It straight sounds like someone's gonna be dead. Nice song though. All right, well, there's all the OSTs done. Damn, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I wasn't really expecting much. 
but I always do that with, with the, the songs because I don't think I like them. But I did the th same thing when I watched Hasbro Hotel and Hell of a Boss. I didn't think I would like the songs and I found like five songs that are done by other people that I really like about those. Same here. Uh, I really enjoyed... Um, what was it? Red, Red Lake Roses Part 2 in Mirror Mirror. Those were my two favourite, I think. But I mean, the rest of them were still really good, don't get me wrong. I still really enjoyed them, but I think those two were my favourite. Yes, of course, I watched them in the wrong order. <laughs> Red Lake Roses, I ended up watching the second, even though I saw the number two, but I was like, I, I can't see another one, so I'm just going to go with it. But, you know, we, we watched it. I mean, I don't really think it matters. I've already finished the volume, so I, I don't really think it matters which order I watched them in. But yeah, for me, Red Lake Roses 2 and Mirror Mirror were definitely my favourite. I've tried, I try. I know I, I was quiet through a lot of it because I was just trying to like absorb the lyrics through my skin and ears, but uh, <laughs> to try to like deconstruct them and, and think of like what they could mean. So I don't know if every song has like a distinct meaning. Obviously the ones in the trailers definitely did, those were like super obvious, but like, the other songs, I don't know if they're like meaningful like for stuff that's going to happen later on of they were just a part of that song at the time of whatever they were doing in the episode i don't know i can't tell i also can't tell if i've got a spoiler staring at me right now in the screen uh i i, I sure hope not it's just a picture but i don't i don't think it's a spoiler it's for the the song called if i'm sure you guys know what that song is but the uh the picture is uh, making me worry i don't know what it is but uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to wrap this up now because we're almost at 50 minutes. Insane. I thought volume one finale was going to be my longest video yet. But uh, yeah, I really, really did enjoy those also. Thank you guys for suggesting that I, I listen to them and react to them. Really nice songs. Uh, there's not one song there that I, that I didn't enjoy. So yeah, awesome. Uh, I try to give as much constructive criticism as I could without constantly pausing i know you guys say you don't mind me pausing to talk when i've got like something fresh in my mind to say it but i i try to think of everything and then at the end of it give what i what i got from from the lyrics or whatever so i don't know if that's the best way to go about it but that's the way i've been doing it so we'll we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see but yeah again don't know why i've still got these on but yeah again thank you guys for uh for suggesting them if you did enjoy it please do leave a like comment and subscribe any background stuff that I've missed, any meaningful meaningful things in the songs that I've missed, please do let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will because you guys are absolutely crazy. And again, a huge shout out to the fine. There's a bunch of other people I would love to shout out because a lot of people do give me information in background story and stuff like that. But he or she has definitely done the brunt of the work, especially in this last video. The... There was a crap ton of information being thrown at me. And I feel bad because sometimes I only give a small reply. And it's just because there's so much information there that I'm just... I don't know what to, like, what to mention in the comment. But uh, do know I do read every one of your comments. And obviously I always give them a love heart. So you know I've at least seen them. So, uh, you know. I if, if you don't get a reply, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because just because... I'm not sure what to say back <laughs> most of the time. I'm, I'm usually baffled. I'm not usually I'm not used to getting so many comments. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. And yeah, I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.